Hi, Aquarius. It's Angela. We're going to do sort of a mid June update uh, soul guidance reading. Just give ourselves a little refresher here and see what we can tap into, uh, what energies, um, what aspects of ourselves we can tap into and improve it a little, or maybe um, find a path forward for the remainder of this month. Um, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And we have also people that may just be visiting because they like the topic, they like the vibration of the video, and that's okay too, right? We don't, uh, we don't judge. We don't, you know, have to be so discerning that this is only for certain people, right? This energy is universal and the guidance is sort of eternal. It's forever. It's, we can tap into it at any given time. That's why it's soul guidance. Okay, so the oracle deck that we're using is the chakra deck, and we get to focus on the several energetic centers in our body and, and find something to adjust and um, tune into, and then make adjustments and move forward. And for you, Aquarius, I pulled a first chakra card. So this is your foundation. This is your connection to the earth. This is your, your grounding space, right? And the card I got for you is insecurity. Now, this doesn't mean you're an insecure person, right? This is more um, uh, sort of, because it's a you know, first chakra too, sometimes our base doesn't feel so solid all the time. Sometimes we need help in um, you know, sort of getting solid and, and getting a firm footing before we set off on our path. Um, you might have moments recently where you felt, well, first of all, look at that little demon. It's like kind of like sending a shoot right into this guy's um, body, kind of trying to connect to him and latch on to him. And then his heart has these, um, well, they're spears of light. To me, I think they're spears of light. They're kind of like the, they're protective. It's, um, at least that's what I get from it. So it's like, you know, your heart knows and, and it can help lead, it can help you lead the way forward, even if it doesn't feel so great. Even if that little devil guy is kind of like hanging around and making you make wrong turns or whatever. It's okay. It really is a, a um the guidance is really to take a step back for a minute, right? I, I feel a little shaky, I'm not sure what how to proceed. It's okay. Take a step back. Take a breath, trust in what's within you, get in touch with that, and then you can proceed forward. So let's turn it down here and let's see what the Zen cards are saying as it pertains to this first chakra vibe of insecurity. Okay, your first card how oh, is suppression. Look at that. So it's kind of like, you know, this that, that devil kind of showed up again, right? Um, Energy turned inward that's suppressed. It leads to stagnation. It leads to, to fears. It need, leads to not being able to move and make decisions. So it's time for us to flush out any of those um, extra vibrations that, that are kind of lodged within us, right? So this doesn't mean that you're deep and dark and heavy and horrible. This just means, oh yeah, reminder. Let me find those places that are a little bit stuck within me and let me move some of that energy through because that will, first of all, that will solidify my path. It will give me a clearer footing, a clearer um, viewpoint of where to step next. Um, okay. And then this internal energy here, this card is, is the inter inner vibe that supports this. And I got trust. Look at that. So there we go. Now we're opening up. Now we're able to take some of that stuck energy and just kind of, um, even though the solution is unseen, we can still tap back into that space in us that knows, right? That just knows we'll find the path. You know, we'll find the means that it takes to clear this so that we can move forward on solid ground. And that inner trust and that inner, um, 
sort of you know level of faith that's within you it, it, it's always there and it's a matter of do you let it come out to play right do you tap into it at the appropriate times or do you let this overcome it right the the, the fears the stagnation the insecure you know we all get insecure we all get unsure of what step to take next and what what we what happens is if we turn the energy if we hang on to that uncertainty as if that is defining us and that is guiding our path we end up staying stuck but if we take our energy to that place within us that knows we got this we've done it before we could do it again then the insecurity doesn't last very long then we're like you know what let me just take one step and see where it takes me then i'll take another one and and we'll we'll be on our path from there so the the battle between clinging and trusting is at play here okay but your inner being carries all this trust and knows just knows that everything's going to really work out for your highest good in the external position, oh yeah, look, I got aloneness. So now this is a beautiful position for this card. This is reminding you that no matter what comes your way and no matter what you, you know, um, what fears you cling to, you alone, you have what it takes to move yourself past it. You do, and, and it starts with that trust. But you have it, you know, this aloneness card, one of my favorites, because it it literally tells us, first of all, aloneness is not loneliness. Aloneness is empowering. Loneliness is, oh, somebody's missing. I'm, I miss this person. It's the absence of another. Aloneness is the presence of yourself. And there's power in that. And, and combined with, you know, that full sense of trust, and then your full sense of self together, inner and outer being. Oh, that's like, this devil guy is going to get kicked to the side quickly, right? You're going to be guiding your own way forward, all alone, because you know what's best for you. You've tapped into that, that inner trust, you know, the guidance will come when you need it. And then when it comes, you take the action. On, all on your own to move yourself forward. And it clears this suppressed vibe. It clears it out because, you know, you didn't let it trip you up, basically. Yeah, crappy things happen to us. Things happen that get us thrown off, that take us off our course, like, oh man, what am I? But it doesn't have to take us down, right? You always have the power to transform your experiences. Okay, so now let me take the spec down. And now the this point, this card here is your pivot point. It's kind of, so we have this is what we just been through, right? This is where we are. This is where we wanna end up. And this is the key to getting there, okay? And as it pertains to our, our sort of shaky ground, I got participation. So this is calling on you to recognize and call forth and lean on your circle whether it's an energetic circle it could be your you know your spirit guides your angels your friends your loved ones you know whoever's around you physical or non-physical and also your inner being make sure your inner being is one of those uh <laughs> people that are or one of those energies that are with you because it's a group effort right so first we set off, oh, let me clear some of this fear. I'm gonna trust, you know, I'm feeling a little shaky, but I'm gonna trust that I'm gonna be okay. And then once I clear some of that stuff, I got this, I'm on my own. I can do this on my own, but you don't have to do it on your own forever, right? Because the guidance and the, the support is always there. It's always there. And so then you get to a point where you call out for some support. Hey, you know, can I get a hand here? This devil guy is just about done with me and I'm ready to get some help and sending him off on his way, right? So that's an important step in moving forward. It's a balancing act between 
knowing you can do this full well on your own, but really knowing that you don't need to. Okay. I love it. I love that. So now you land at your next level of awareness, at your, your higher being um, coming into play. And we got rebirth. So, I mean, what could be more perfect, <laughs> right? So you had this insecure feeling, not sure how to proceed. You had some crap that you had to clear out, but you trusted in your own process, in your own inner being, and in the, the power that you have within you to move this forward. Then you called on your support to move it forward. And it creates a moment of just a whole new aspect of yourself rising up and taking forth, taking charge and kind of going, here I am, let's do this. I was insecure, but I got this and I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do this with like a fresh slate ready. I love that. And alongside the rebirth card, this internal energy that's supporting that and the reminder <laughs> is the moment to moment card. So now this is you set up, setting off on your path already. We had you a little shaky, not sure what direction to go, but now you're on it. Now you're in full command of your steps. This figure, he has his eyes closed. He can't really... He's not looking. He's walking on this little rainbow river and those boulders underneath him are keeping him from falling in. He is completely in this moment on this one boulder, knowing that when it's time, remember the insecure thing, he is fully secure, this guy, because he's in this moment. And then when he's in the next moment, the next boulder will appear for him and he trusts it. If you notice, he's walking down this river with his eyes closed. He doesn't need to look and see where the next boulder's coming. He knows. Look how it's like sitting right above the trust card too. He just knows it's coming. And I will be supported when the timing is right. And I will know when the timing is right. That takes away all this shakiness and all this worry and anguish it just takes it completely away, this present moment awareness. It's a really good practice. Um, not always easily achievable. You know, we get out off in our heads and, you know, we get distracted, but it's a very good practice to come back to over and over again. And then in the external position, the outcome or the overview into this reading, <laughs> I'm laughing so hard because we started out with, you know, devil guy here. and look where we're ending up on our adventure. We're set off. He is nowhere in sight anymore because you've mastered it now. You've gone into where, you know what, if I hang on to this insecurity and I hang on to this fear of the unknown, I'm going to get nowhere. So I better ditch that fast. I love how that suppression card was your starting point because you were able to do away with that quickly by tapping into your trust, into that knowing space within you that knows you're cared for and knows you're supported energetically and that you're going to be okay. And then taking charge of your own path, calling on friends and guides for support when you need it and not feeling, you know, too proud to ask for the help. Then you get this new level and you get to sort of feel like you're rising up out of, out of some of this suppressed energy, right? This was above this. So you're literally rising above it. Moment to moment is above the trust card. I'm going to stay in this moment. I'm going to know when to take my next step. I'm not going to feel shaky on it. I'm so supported. And then boom, rainbow world. I'm heading out. And this figure is kind of going forward without really knowing what to expect. But she's going anyway. Yeah, she's going anyway. And look what she's above. Solid. I mean, solid footing. This is awesome. We, we transformed this from, oh, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to go to like, hey, I got this. Like, I don't even need to throw any worry into this because I know. I know. This is awesome. I love this reading for you guys. 
Okay, Aquarius, that will do it for now. And, um, you know, I'll see you again really soon, as soon as I can record some more readings. And I hope you all have a good June. Okay, take care.